Hi, this is Emily Zlanian with TV Guide Magazine and TVInsider.com, and I'm here with Central Park's Josh Gad. Look at us, loving TV together. Does any other family love TV together? Are we possibly the best family ever having the best night ever? Family means together now. First off, congratulations. Season two and a season three renewal already, which is awesome. This show is just so much fun. It's so great. It came at the perfect time. Last year, it just lifted everyone's spirits. And since you're also an executive producer on the show, I'm just really curious, when did you know that you had something so special with this show? <clears throat> um, the very first time that I saw the marriage to animation and music on our show, I sat back and I said, oh God, I hope I wasn't wrong when Lauren Bouchard looked at me and said, this is crazy. Uh, and doing four songs an episode is, is clinically insane. Uh, and then the first time I saw it with the very first episode, I said, okay, this can work. We have a proof of concept now. You, you mentioned the ambitious number of songs that this show puts out. And it's, it's a crazy number. Do you have a favorite by any chance, like a favorite of Birdies or just a favorite in general? Yeah, I mean, I look, I think that season one had some spectacular songs. Um, you know, obviously the, the one that I think broke out the most was um, Weirdos Make Great Superheroes written by Sarah Bareilles. Um, <laughs> but season two is just next level. Um, there, there's <clears throat> so many incredible numbers. Uh, two that come to, to mind are, um, there's a song called Trying Too Hard sung by the incredible and brilliant new addition to our series. I mean, Raver Lampman as Molly, that is such a breathtaking number that uh, I think will bring audiences to tears. Uh, and then my personal favorite song that I got to perform in season two, uh, a big part of which was because it was written by Bobby Lopez and Chris and Anderson Lopez, who of course wrote Frozen, Frozen 2 and, and Bobby and Book of Mormon, um, is a song that I get to do with my uh, college roommate, Rory O'Malley and Book of Mormon co-star uh, called um, uh, 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 make music. Now, are we are we going to get to learn any more about Birdie and his backstory this season? Like, I'm endlessly curious about his character because we don't get as much of him as we do, obviously, of everyone else. Yeah, there, and, and that's intentional. I think that there's a level of mystery that we love in this character. Um, you know, we've always thought of him in the vein of this sort of narrator type of character, like from It's a Wonderful Life or um, from There's Something About Mary or even uh, The Rooster. Uh, Lauren and I love to reference the 1970s animated Disney musical Robin Hood uh, and that rooster that's like Robin Hood, little John walking through the forest, you lally, you lally, Hollywood today. Like there's just something about those characters that you don't really know their backgrounds. And, but we do start to uncover certain things that hopefully pose more interesting questions that the audience can have fun with. Well, thank you so much. I can't wait for everyone to go see Central Park season two on Apple TV plus June 25th. Everyone go check it out.